What is up guys, it's Speed here, and today's video takes, I guess, a special place in my heart because it's probably the thing I'm most passionate about when it comes to making content. It's like, I really try to pay attention to who gets better and who doesn't, right? When I'm talking to people and I hear from people, oh, I gained 3k MMR from watching your videos, and then I'll hear other people saying, oh, I, I watched all your videos and I just can't get out of my bracket. I really try to pay attention and understand, even often asking them a lot of questions, hey, why is this happening? You know, like, what's going on? What's wrong? And I've really come to the point where I think I have a pretty good grasp of why some people make it and some people don't. Why some people gain MMR and some people don't. Because I've hit 7.5k MMR. If you're doing exactly what I did to get to 7.5k MMR, you should get to the same MMR, right? So what's the reason why that's not happening? That's what I'm here to talk to you about today. And yeah, if you guys enjoy content like this and want to see more videos like the one you're about to see, please like the video if at any point throughout it you just feel inspired or motivated because that is kind of going to be the the point of this video to inspire and to motivate like the video it helps me out and yeah now let's just get into it i also just played a snapfire game very recently where i out farmed my mid lane puck and the reason why i'm telling you this is because over on the main game leap website i analyzed that game posted it over there so if you're interested in seeing how to out farm your mid laner right as snapfire who i still even after the nerfs think is one of the best supports in dota go check it out click the link down below let's get it so the first thing i want to say and this one for me is like you could literally click off the video right after this and i would be ecstatic because that's actually the point that is the point you have to implement the ideas you are learning i actually can't stand how many people are dota gurus i can't stand how many 2 3k 4k 5k dota gurus there are stop I know you know everything about Dota. I know you know how to siege high ground. I know you can inspect secrets laning stage and tell me every little thing about that and tell me every item build that exists in Dota and follow the meta. But you have to implement these ideas that you are learning into your own gameplay. You have to stop trying to learn everything. I hate the idea or even the fact that there's so many players who just know everything. I don't care that you know everything and your MMR doesn't care either. Stop trying to learn everything, stop watching my videos, and actually go play the game and try to implement the ideas that you know work. And frankly, if you are trying to do that or telling yourself that you're trying to do that and it's not working, right? It's not working. You're trying to implement what I'm saying in the videos. You're clouded by other things. I guarantee it. You're clouded by judgment of teammates. You're clouded by judgment of yourself. Something is clouding your judgment because I've given everybody a roadmap to gaining MMR and I'm very confident in it. I've coached many people. When they follow my roadmap and I can tell they have a good mentality, it clicks. They gain MMR. One, 2K MMR. Every single time. But I know, I literally know when I'm coaching certain people with bad mentalities, there's no chance they gain MMR. I literally, after the first session, I don't want to coach them anymore. Because I know it's GG. It's GG. I know they're just going to be information hoarders. I literally can't teach these people. And you need to think about it. Is this you? Because they never gain MMR. They never gain MMR. It's the people who complain because they say, oh, you know, like, we should have made this rotation at 15 minutes. We should have bought this item on Lifestealer. You know, we should have Roshan two minutes earlier. Like, I don't care, man. I don't care. You're probably out of position 80% of the fights. You probably don't cast your spells fast enough. You probably miss half of the last hits you should be getting. Like, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. People are literally so bad at fundamentals. And yet they want to tell me the core strategy of secret, team secret. I don't care. <laughs> like, please do what works and actually execute. I want to go kind of back to the point of, of coaching and I want to say, what does my coaching do? And no, this is not advertisement for my coaching. Yes, I do coaching. I don't coach a lot of people because I really try to, when I'm doing it, focus on a few people and what works, right? What works when I coach people? I'm literally going to give you my thought process when I'm coaching. So you could teach yourself now, essentially. You don't have to give me anything. You don't have to pay me anything. You can do this yourself. Right? I can obviously put you on the right path quicker, but you can do this yourself and you can slowly figure out what works. What I tell people and how I coach them is I give them a guideline of what they need to do to win as the hero, what they need to focus on on their hero, and that's it. I don't tell them about their teammates. I generally don't tell them about overall strategy. I don't tell them about how pros execute strategies. I don't do that because it's a waste of brain power. It's the completely wrong direction if you're trying to go pro. And even if you're just trying to gain MMR, like you don't have to even try to go pro, just gaining a 100 MMR, 200 MMR. I literally recently had a, a student 
who is 1.5 KBMR approximately. And at the end of the session, he was like, wow, Sweet, I, I thought you were going to be telling me about like some complex ideas. Not in a rude way. He wasn't like, oh, disappointed. But he came to realize that getting better at Dota is a simple process that everyone overcomplicates. And it holds everyone back. You can't do that. And what ended up happening is after he realized that he needs to stick to my strategy and I had to yell at him over and over and over again, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. You need to do what I'm saying. You need to actually execute, execute, fix your fundamentals, follow the path of improvement. If you're playing PL, hit your timings. If you're playing a support, pull at the right times. These type of things, you need to focus on this and nothing else and you will gain MMR. You want to know what happened? You want to know what happened, guys? He won his next six games as PL. Six games in a row. Clearly, there's something to this. There's something to this. And that goes into my next point. What is more important? I, I want you to think of this in your head right now. What is more important? Mechanics or knowledge? What is more important? And now, after watching this video, you probably know exactly what I'm going to say. But if you get this wrong, well, you are still in the wrong headspace, my man. You are still in the wrong headspace. Mechanics trump knowledge. 100%. I feel so strongly about this. I feel so strongly about this. Because you could have a 5k MMR stack, and in my opinion, they would destroy a 3k MMR team any day of the week. Any day of the week. It doesn't matter if that 3k MMR team has been practicing, and they have strategies, and they know the exact heroes and bands they're going to have. They know what rotations they want to make. It's not going to matter, because they're going to get pressured in ways they can't execute. They're not as fast. The reaction time probably isn't as good, because they have to focus on things like strategies. Their last hitting's not good. Mechanics trump knowledge. Just think about that. I'm very confident you could pair any 5k stack against any 3k team and they, the 5k stack would win 90% of the matches. 90%. Easily. Because mechanics trump knowledge. And they trump strategy. So that is why if you're trying to have impact, and impact is what determines whether or not you're going to gain MMR. It is the sole determining factor. How much impact are you having on your specific role for the game? That is your ability to gain MMR. Right? You can't control your teammates. Well, I guess you could to some extent, but you generally can't control your teammates. So focus on that, just your impact. And uh, you'll start to notice if you actually do this, actually listen to me and stop complaining, stop whining, because frankly, I don't want to hear it. I hate how people, after I rant and rant and rant, that I'm showing you that uh, the reason why I got to high MMR is because I have a better mentality than you. That is the core basis of why I gain MMR faster than everyone else. And I don't care if you get mad at me for saying that. I'm essentially better than you when it comes to mentality. I know I'm better than most of you when it comes to mentality. I'm very confident in that. I don't whine, right? Let me put it this way. The reason I got better than you is because when I lose, I don't pout for two hours complaining about how we didn't perfectly execute a team secret delta split when going high ground, or I don't whine to speed in the Discord DMs that, oh, my life stealer purchased a mask of madness. Guys, I don't care that your team didn't do either of those things or that your life stealer bought a mask of madness. I don't care. You want to know what I do? I look at my own gameplay or I think about my own gameplay, I think of my mistakes. How many last hits did I miss? Could I have taken less damage in the lane? Did I cast my spells poorly? Was I out of position? Could I have split push better? And then I work on them. I try to fix them. <laughs> Believe it or not, I try to fix my mistakes every single game. I don't load into a game and I, and I don't just like full off goof off. I have a good time occasionally. I play unranked. I love it. I like chilling. But even when I am chilling, I could be playing PL position four, which I recently did. It's on the Game Leap website. Shameless plug. But all jokes aside, I still was trying to learn that game. I still came up with ideas. I focused on what worked and what didn't work. I've analyzed that replay now two to three times. And I'm not saying you have to do that. But after I did it, I know if I played that game again, exactly what I would change. Exactly what I would change. And I would try to change it. And if that didn't work, I would try to figure out what I need to change next. And if that doesn't work, I would figure out what I have to change next. Instead of worrying ever about my teammates. And now I have two more topics to talk about. I just want to quickly go over one more line to focus on this idea and not get off track because I don't like an abundance of information over focusing on actually what is important. And that is why the, the line I want to talk about is I could do, and I, I really mean this, I could do a full guess the rank episode where, and if you don't know what guess the rank is, it's where I go over your clips and I try to figure out what MMR you guys are that in the clips you submit based on your gameplay. I could realistically do very well in a full guest the rank episode on just the GPM of the lobby. Just the GPM. I could be pretty accurate. That's scary, right? I could be pretty accurate. Obviously, there's outliers like anything else in the world. There's outliers and I would make a mistake here and there or get thrown off by outliers. But for the most part, I could do very well in guest the rank based on last hits and GPM. 
Want to know why? Because the ability to accumulate gold and having net worth basically tells you how well you played or not. And now obviously you can get thrown off if you're playing out. You need to readjust your numbers and your GPM and things like that or something like nature's profit, right? But for the most part, you could literally just use GPM as an indicator of how well you're playing. And it would be okay. It would be okay. Like, I, it would be all right. It would actually help more people improve much faster. If all they did was look at their GPM, people would do much better, including support players. Because now I hear the support players saying, oh, that doesn't apply to me. My GPM doesn't matter. I have to be sacrificial. No, my man or my woman, if you're trying to gain MMR, trust me, you staying alive, you making the correct plays, positioning correctly, pulling correctly, last hitting correctly, even last hitting the creeps in the pole camp, or when you're split pushing, you're getting to take mid that you don't miss the last hits under tower. These type of things matter. They matter so much. And it really just goes to show how much you pay attention to detail and your gameplay when your GPM is consistently good. It really says so much to me. And I, I hate to say something like, oh, it's that simple. And Dota isn't that simple, right? You won't get to 7K MMR by only focusing on GPM. But I damn well guarantee you could get to 4K by only looking at your GPM. Like literally nothing else. Just being like, okay, can I get my GPM better every game, every game, every game? And then try to figure out what, what can you do to get your GPM higher and higher and higher. And you're going to be like, well, speed. No, because then I just wouldn't show up to any fights. Guys, trust me, <laughs> you'll show up to fights anyway at some point. But like, if you actually didn't show up to any fights, it would probably be better than the fights a lot of you guys show up to or how you approach them. Your, the impact you'd have from split pushing is probably higher, probably higher, which is woo. And I'm finally, I'm going to end off the video with this because the least amount of people watch videos, the later they go on. So <laughs> I thought this is an appropriate time to put this in. <laughs> but essentially, I want to talk about Smurfs. And no, I'm not going to say I think smurfing is good. I'm not going to say people should smurf. Not at all. That's actually not my position on the topic. But what I do want to say about smurfing is if you're trying to gain MMR, you shouldn't care about smurfing. If you're playing Dota for fun, by the way, if you're playing Dota for fun and you just want even games into to chill, like by all means, you don't have to really care about anything that I'm saying in this video. You really don't. <laughs> like you really, really don't. If you're out trying to have fun and you watch my videos just to like try things out. Yeah, that's great. You can approach the game however you want, whatever makes you enjoy it the most. But if you're trying to gain MMR and you complain about Smurfs, holy, I don't like you. Holy, I really, really don't. I really, really don't. There are very niche scenarios where like matchmaking abuse is a serious, serious, serious deal. But from my experience, most Smurfs only Smurf a bracket or two below where they currently are. That's what I've seen, right? When I talk to friends, when I see people, that's usually where they are. If you can't beat them in that scenario, you don't deserve to go up anyway. You don't. I don't care what you have to say. Well, speed, but I would get there. No, you don't deserve to go up. If you can beat a Smurf, by all means, by all means, you should gain that MMR. You should get to the next bracket. Take it as a challenge. Like, I don't care. Like, if you think, oh, it's unfair, it's unbalanced. Even if it is, like, literally, even if you think it's unfair or unbalanced, I still don't care. I literally still do not care that you think that. And the reason is it's not because I don't value your opinion. If, if I was talking to someone, it's not that I don't value your opinion. The matter of the fact is, if you actually care about getting better, you don't focus on things like that. Not once during my journey did I think about Smurfs. Not once. And a lot of it was because I didn't even know they existed. But that was for the better for me. Because I didn't I didn't waste my brain power on, oh my god, I, I lost because Jimmy was Smurfing and he he's actually a divine player, but I'm a legend and I didn't focus on that. You know what would happen? You know what would happen? I would look at it and I'd be like, wow, that's so cool. When I knew it happened and when I started realizing that there were Smurfs, when I hit around 4K, 5K MMR, I was like, oh, okay, that's kind of cool though. Like, it's kind of cool. I get to play against someone and, and look at how they compare to me. I get to look back at the replay and be like, wow, what is he doing better than me that allows him to dominate me? Or I could even get a feel for, oh, maybe he's much faster than me. Or he pulls a lot more creep aggro. Or he last hits better. Or his rotations are faster. Or he has more regen than me. Or he has a better understanding of matchups. Like, there's so much you can get out of that because you're playing against someone better than you. People pay real money in actual life to play with people better than them. People pay money. It's called coaching, though. It's called coaching. People will would pay good money. Like, let's say it's tennis. To play against a tennis pro, people would pay. Want to know why? because then they could see what they're doing wrong. Why not look at smurfing the same way? The only difference is that you're not getting told by the smurf what you're doing wrong, unless I guess you ask them or they want to become your friend, which frankly you could do, right? I think if you actually want to get better, that's how you look at it. If you don't, you'll just keep complaining. That's all I'm going to say for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the style. I know it was very like motivational ranty, but I'm very passionate about this topic because 
it's one of those things where I think people always come up with the next excuse or they always look for the next reason of why they can't gain MMR. But like if you execute on what works and focus on your own gameplay and your own GPM and your own impact, you'll gain MMR. Like you really, really will. You really, really will gain MMR. I'm so confident in that. All right. Thanks for listening. Hopefully you enjoyed and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Pleasure. Peace. Are you tired of being hard stuck at your rank? Over at GameLeap.com, we have a library of hundreds of guides authored by pro players and coaches covering literally every aspect of Dota. Whether you're looking to master a new hero or role or just polish up your existing skills, GameLeap is the proven place for competitive gamers to hone their craft and unlock their secret potential. Hit the link on screen right now, right now, to take advantage of our special offer for a 25% discount, guys, 25%, and start your journey today.